Dear students, welcome to the session on Lorentz series. Now let us consider two concentric circles, say it as C1 and C2 and their radius are R1 and R2 and let us assume that R1 is greater than R2 and with center A. Now let us see the diagrammatic view. C1 is the circle and C2 is the other circle with center A. R1, R2 are the corresponding radius and the direction is anti-clockwise. Next, let us take the function f of z be analytic in the annular region. Annular region means the region between the circle 1 and circle 2. That means outside of circle 2 and inside of circle 1. Now we can shade this. This is known as annular region. So f of z is analytic in the annular domain between these two circles. Then I can represent this as a infinite series. At each point of the domain, f of z has the series representation. We can represent this as summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n into z minus a whole power n plus summation n equal to 0 to infinity b n z minus a whole power minus n. This is valid in this region. Now we have to know what is mean by this a n and b n. The coefficients of a n for the outer circle can be represented as follows. Similarly, coefficients of Bn for the inner circle C2 can be represented as follows. This equation 1 is known as Lorentz series about the point A. Lorentz series is a series which consists of positive integral powers and negative integral powers of Z minus A. So, you know integral power means the power should be an integer. So, either it should be a positive n or it should be negative n. We can see here at the first summation we have z minus a whole power n and the second part we have n minus z minus a whole power minus n. The part which consists of positive powers of z minus a is known as analytic part or regular part. Then obviously the second part which consists of negative power is known as principal part of the Lorentz series. If this part is zero, then we can say my f of z is entire function. It is completely analytic everywhere. Now you understand the theory. Let us go into the problem part. To solve the problem, we remember the partial fraction which we already used in the Laplace transform unit 3 student. Just a quick recap. When we have a linear factors that is denominators like x plus a into x plus b, I can factorize like this. And we have a repeated factors, then we can write a by x plus a plus b by x plus b plus c by x plus b whole square it goes on. When we have non-factorizable terms, we express like this. In all the three cases, very important, we have to check the numerator. We take here it as p of x. Degree of denominator is greater than degree of p of x. Then only this partial fraction works. Next, we remember our school days. Everyone have a pleasant memories on arithmetic progression and geometric progression. Now we can easily write the geometric series identity from geometric progression that is 1 plus x plus x square etc. It goes up to infinity. Similarly, one can write the formula for 1 plus x whole power minus 1. It will have negative sign in the odd power and positive sign in the even power. And very important, this geometric series identities are valid only if modulus of x should be less than 1. Otherwise, it will not valid. Now, for the problem point of view, I am going to write this in terms of summation. You see here 1x, x square, x cube, x power 4. So I am writing this as n equal to 0 to infinity x power n. So when I put n equal to 0, I will get 1. n equal to 1, x, 2, x square, 3, x cube, etc. So I can represent this as a summation. For the second identity, we can see the first term is 1, so x power n. But the problem is, I am having negative and positive terms alternatively. So I am writing minus 1 whole power n. So when I put n equal to 0, minus 1 power 0 is 1. x power 0 is also 1. So 1, when I put 1, I will get minus x. When I put 2, minus 1 whole square is 1 x square minus x cube etc. So these two things you have to remember because 
I'm going to take a function f of z and I'm going to express this as a Lorentz series. For this, these two identities are very much important. So, for example, you're getting a final solution like this. Now, I have to express this as n equal to 0 to infinity. Since we have positive term, I will write minus 1 whole power n, 1 by z power n. And very important, see this content we have. 1 by z. This is valid for only the region which has modulus of 1 by z less than 1. Similarly, if you have 1 minus z by 2 whole power minus 1, since we have minus here, we can easily write this as summation n equal to 0 to infinity z by 2 whole power n. And it is valid for the region modulus of z by 2 less than 1. Hope you understand, student. Let us solve few problems. Expand as a Lorentz series for for a given function f of z, z divided by z square minus 3z plus 2 in the region mod z less than 1, mod z lying between 1 to 2 and mod z greater than 2. Let us solve one by one. First, we have to factorize the denominator and then we have to split the f of z using partial fraction. Then only I can express this f of z as a Lorentz series. So step one is partial fraction. And we know that z square minus 3z plus 2, I can express express this as z minus 1, z minus 2 very easily or use your calculator. Now, I want to simplify this using partial fraction. Taking LCM, z is equal to a into z minus 2 plus b into z minus 1. Obviously, the denominator get cancelled. Next, we have to find the values of a and b. It is very obvious if I substitute z equal to 2, I will get b. Similarly, if I substitute z equal to 1, I will get a. So, put z equal to 1 and z equal to 2 in the above equation. When I put z equal to 1, I get 1 is equal to a into 1 minus 2. Second term is 0. Therefore, a equal to minus 1. Similarly, when I put z equal to 2, 2 is equal to first term 0, second term 2 minus 1, we get immediately b equal to 2. So, we found the values of a and b. Substitute in f of z. Always take this as equation 1 because we have three different regions. For every region, f of z will not change. Only the region will change. Now, let us crack the problem. Let us express this f of z as the Lorentz series according to the given region. Step 2, formula. Just we see the geometric function identities. Write this. This is more helpful for you to crack the problem. Next step 3, finding Lorentz series for the given region. Here our region is mod z less than 1. Now we have to take the equation 1 that is my f of z and we have to express it. Just now we see the identities that is 1 minus x whole power minus 1 is 1 plus x plus x square etc. It goes up to infinity. It is true if we have mod x less than 1. If this condition doesn't hold, this identity is not true. Now our aim is take the function f of z and we have to express this as a Lorentz series. For this, we have mod z is less than 1. See the first term, we have minus 1 divided by z minus 1. To apply the formula, we have to take minus outside, then it will become 1 minus z. So, this minus minus will get cancelled. I can write this as 1 minus z whole power minus 1. And here, our condition is mod z less than 1. It is true. Now, I can express this as an infinite series like 1 plus z plus z square, etc. But for this case, I have two options. I can take this z outside. So, we get 2 divided by z into 1 minus 2 by z. Or I can take 2 outside. So, 2 into z by 2 minus 1. What should I do? Should be very careful. See the given region. Mod z is less than 1. If mod z is less than 1, then obviously modulus of z by 2 is less than 1. Modulus of z by 3 is less than 1. All the values which I put in the denominator, it is going to be less than 1. Keep this in your mind. I am going to write, if mod z is less than 1, 
then modulus of z by 2 is less than 1. So I can make the region like something mod z less than 1 and modulus of z by 2 less than 1. So I can take minus outside, I will get 1 minus z because mod z less than 1, it is valid. Similarly here, I will take 2 outside and I get z by 2 minus 1 because if I take z outside, I will get 1 minus of 2 by z but my condition will work only for modulus of z by 2 less than 1 and I don't know what will happen for 2 by z. So we should be very careful student. Now we have to bring this something like 1 minus x, 1 power minus 1 or minus 2 etc. So now I am cancelling this and I can express this as 1 by 1 minus z, 2 2 get cancelled and I am taking 1 minus outside, we have 1 divided by 1 minus z by 2. Now it is ready to express the problem as an infinite series and also check here we have z mod z less than 1. We have z by 2 mod z by 2 also less than 1. So it is valid. Now we have to take this to the numerator. 1 minus z whole power minus 1 minus 1 minus z by 2 whole power minus 1. Now using the identity I can express this as 1 plus z plus z square etc up to infinity minus 1 plus z by 2 plus z by 2 whole square plus z by 2 whole cube etc up to infinity. Now just recap step 2. I can express this infinite series in terms of summation. The first part all terms are positive so I can write this as summation n equal to 0 to infinity z power n. Similarly the second part also all terms are positive so I can simply express this as z by 2 whole power n and very important once you end up with this problem you have to write the valid region we know the valid region already but still we have to write the conditions at the end of the problem we know it is mod z less than 1 and modulus of z by 2 less than 1 so in this session we expressed the given f of z as a Lorentz series for a given region mod z less than 1 and we have two more regions that is z lies between 1 to 2 and mod z greater than 2. Those two regions I will do in the next part of the video because so in this video at first we start Lorentz series and then we see the definition and then we use identities to solve the problem and partial fraction basics we see. So the second and third part of this problem I will continue in the next video. Hope you understand students. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.